Hey there. So I'm making a video today to log a mini milestone I've, I've made with the Arduino. I've been playing around with it um, for maybe a couple of weeks now and going through the tutorials. It's been a lot of fun and now I can do things like I can affect change on one of these LEDs. I can map um, its change to a physical button or to like a little potentiometer like that. I can now print out um, characters to an LCD display um, and that's all really cool and fun but what I really want to do is have this guy talk to a mobile device something like my phone or um, a tablet or a PC or something like that and so long story short what I've kind of realized is that I need to get familiar with Bluetooth so what I did was I bought a little Bluetooth breakout called the NRF 8001 by Adafruit and I bought it because for a couple different reasons one because um, Adafruit has awesome documentation for someone fresh to Arduino like me um, and two because this particular um, board they also supplied a companion app for iOS to you know demonstrate how to connect to it through um, an app, how to send messages to it, and so so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show you that I, I did it, I made a thing, and uh, it can be done. So let's take a look at the breadboard, and um, it looks complicated, but it's it's really straightforward. You've got the breadboard here connected to the Arduino conventionally. I've added just two things. One is an RGB um, light, um, so that there's proof of change that's going to happen and a button to kind of just a sanity check for me to you know debug things on the physical side and also to, so that I know that I can still affect physical change simultaneously with you know the phone running too so um, for starters what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little paper ring around the um, LED so that it'll diffuse the light it'll be easier to see and I'm going to connect this thing to the little 9 volt so you know that this thing is a standalone thing and it's it's going to be working on its own, not connected to a computer or anything. It's totally wireless. So here goes. So first thing up, I, I set it to um, turn red when in advertising mode. And so that means that this thing is ready for a phone to to... Um, be aware that it exists and then pair with it. So I'm going to fire up the app and if you look it's called Blue Fruit LE and if I scan for the device it shows it's already there it's called UART. I'm going to connect to it and this app's pretty cool because it provides a couple different modes you know one I can send individual strings to it I can also monitor what's happening on the Arduino's pins and I can physically affect change and send signals to it. But it's also got this thing that um, I'm going to be demonstrating here, which is it's got a controller. So it it has, um, let's see, oh, I just crashed. It has a control pad. Well, one, it can send signals, or it can send the information from the, the accelerometer or all the sensors that are built into this phone. But it also has things like this simulated... Um, gamepad controller that you can kind of map to whatever you want and it's also got a color picker so this color picker what I'm gonna what I did was I, I wanted this to send an effect change to this light so you'll notice one thing is that it's it's blue now not, no longer red because I've made a connection and I set that up just for my own purposes so that I know that I'm truly in connection with this thing so if you look at this controller I'm connected the value of this thing is is blue and I'm gonna change it to like a red I hit send, and it gently fades over to red. I don't know if you can pick it up on this camera. I'm going to change it over to something purple. Now it's purple. Go over to the greens. And so it's doing its thing. It works. You can change um, how bright it is and dim it down a little bit. And an extra little tidbit is that this app has an Apple Watch component. So I've got an Apple Watch here. I can launch the companion version of it and I'm already on a color picker here too. So if I pick green, 
it's sending its signal to the phone and the phone is communicating to this LED. So you can see that that's pretty instant. I've set the fade, I've, set, I've written this custom function for it to gently transition over to the next color instead of just blipping over, but it's all working. So pretty cool. The little breakout's about 20 bucks, but um, it's really simple and I've written a little bit more um, details about the setup and uh, on my blog, but uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.